Hello my friends, welcome to my channel Bringer of Light Intuitive. I'm Cindy. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching this reading. If it found you, it is for you. Take what resonates for you, leave anything that doesn't for someone else, and check out the other readings in this series. I am titling this, Who Am I Reading For? There will be a playlist with all of these that you can feel free to go through and anything that jumps out at you is for you. These are timeless. All right, so if this resonates for you, if you like these readings, please let me know. I want to know. This is something new I'm doing, and I would love to hear from you in the comments. And let me know, first of all, who I'm reading for, and secondly, how does this resonate, and how do you like these who am I reading for readings, okay? So, asking Spirit, what is the message that wants to come in today for whoever I'm reading for? I see two aces here. The Ace of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. So I feel like this is a brand new start for you. You have found yourself in a brand new beginning. I feel like you are creatively inspired this week or at this time whenever you are viewing this reading. I feel like you're creatively inspired to take on something new, to go in a new direction, to try something you've never tried. And it's actually going to produce a lot of abundance and prosperity for you. Now this can also be in love. It doesn't have to be in, um, in money, but I do see finances here. I feel like you are stepping out, taking a leap of faith, following some sort of a passion in your that you're feeling on the inside you're feeling passionate about it. it's creatively inspired and it's something new and it's something you've never done before and it's actually going to lead you to a new uh, maybe a second stream of income or there's just you know this this energy of of uh, commitment of dedication it's something that you've always wanted to do maybe it's something that you're truly, truly, truly passionate about and you want to see through and watch it grow into something big. No matter what it is, it's divinely inspired. It's creative. It's a creatively inspired, passion-driven something in your heart that you want to do that you're moving forward in. So this can be energy that's already happened. This may be a confirmation for you. Or this is something that, is, that maybe you're thinking about and this is confirmation for you to move forward on it but it's going to create a lot of abundance and prosperity for you now that can be in your you know just in your life it can create it's a creative outlet for you that's going to help you to be more grounded and more you know just feeling more grounded and balanced but for some of you this is a new a new income stream for you. Now this could be also for somebody, this could be you being inspired to take action on going in a different direction like changing careers, maybe moving and starting new in, in some other city, town, city, state, country. Maybe you've up and decided you need a fresh start. And so you move somewhere else and you start a new job, a new opportunity. Maybe you start your own business. Maybe just the move itself ignites some sort of prosperity for you. It actually affects your finances in a good way, whether that's a new opportunity or just the energy changing because you decided to up and move and get some fresh energy. It creates some sort of increase for you. And you actually are committed to this new thing. You're committed and it feels good to you and you want to put down roots and you want to see this through in a long-term way. And it makes you very uh, grounded. It feels very grounded. It feels trustworthy. It feels very abundant. I just keep saying that. All right, so what is this message unfolding for my friends watching this reading right now? Who is this for? And what do they need to know? Yeah. I've got.
got the King of Pentacles here and the Page of Swords. Yeah, it's it's this new thing. It, you've either learned something new about yourself, and the more you're learning about this yourself and how far you've grown over the last two years, what you've endured, what you've the what challenges you've overcome, how much stronger you are than you thought, you're really getting to know yourself in a new way. And it's causing you to think about doing new things. And be, you're being inspired creatively. You're being inspired from within to step out and do new things. Maybe stepping out of a comfort zone and, you know, just doing life differently than you have in the past. And what you'll find is, wow, I've got two kings here. So what you'll find is that it's leading you to something very, very prosperous so for some of you it's like starting a new business or starting something creative maybe a hobby that you love and you're going to start making money with it and people are going to be drawn to you because you're so authentically in touch with your creativity and your inspiration you're you're able to be your most authentic self and so people are drawn to you as a leader and it actually create like people want to buy from you people want to learn from you whatever this is and whatever this endeavor is it's like you are starting something new here and it may take a leap of faith it may take leaving a comfort zone to be able to step out and do this but it's putting you in this place of leadership and your most authentic confidence comes out because you're following your creative inspiration that that authentic you that passion that's on the inside but it creates some sort of wealth for you now i was talking about abundance before because of that that ace of pentacles but this is the wealth king so whatever this is like follow this creative inspiration that you have because it's putting you in this place of leadership that is drawing people to you that there are people who want what you have so let this be confirmation for somebody who is really really wanting to maybe start some sort of a business start some sort of uh you know turning a hobby into an income you're gonna love it you are going to love it <laughs> it's a whole new emotional experience for you but it's actually divinely guided. It's been given. That's where do you think the inspiration came from? The universe. Because you've been asking to be unstuck. You've been asking for a more fulfilling life. You've been asking for things to change. And you've got three aces here that are all a gift from the universe. This inspiration came from the universe and it is going to give you overflowing happiness, overflowing joy, overflowing love. You're going to fall in love with this. First of all, it's going to be like, you know, it's like you're giving birth to your passion, your dreams. It's like a baby, you know, so you're already going to be in love with it. But then you're going to fall in love with the experience of it because it's so much a part of you and you're going to see it come into fruition and succeed. It's a beautiful thing. And it's really, really divinely guided. Like this is really for you. Like you were meant to do this. So I am really excited to see who I am reading for because you were meant to do this. <laughs> And it's been on your mind lately. Maybe you've been putting it off for years because maybe you're in some other job or, um, you know, maybe you've been a parent and you've been raising kids and you, you didn't have time. But it's time for the cycle of burden, challenge, struggle, being burnt out. It's, it's time for this old cycle to close and it's time for you to align with what is for you in the most amazing way and whatever it is that you've been doing you're just tired you're tired you're not your heart's not really in it anymore it's become a burden for you and 
Spirit is saying it's a soul aligned thing for you to follow that inspiration that you've been getting. You know what it is because when you hear my voice telling you this, you're feeling it. You're hearing it calling you on the inside. It's been there for a long time. And you have maybe been <clears throat> doubting it, not trusting in yourself, your abilities. Maybe you've been fighting with yourself and just doubting your your ability doubting your skills or doubting that you'll be successful because I see a lot of drama here and I see a lot of you know drama in the mind but also I've got the five of cups which is just sadness this is something you've always wanted to do whoever I'm reading for this is something that you've always wanted to do and you've been around and around and around and around in your head about it and you've you've struggled maybe you've tried to get it off the ground before and you've struggled and you've been fighting but I feel like this is more of fighting with yourself in your mind because you're worried that you know things that haven't worked out in your past means that this isn't going to work out and you're struggling in your mind you're doubting yourself and it's like you're you have this maybe thought that it's going to be you it's like you're projecting into the future a failure that hasn't even happened because it hasn't even got off the ground yet but you're already mourning a failure because you don't trust yourself or believe in yourself and you're going back and forth about something you're going back and forth because you're being divinely inspired it's your intuition and it keeps coming up because it's something that you're supposed to do and then your brain your ego brains kicks in your ego brain kicks in and says all these negative things like it's never going to work and you're just like thinking but I'm crazy for even thinking this but then your intuition kicks in again and says no it's like the devil and the angel sitting on your shoulders the angel is saying, yes, this is for you. Follow your heart. And the devil is saying, you're going to, it's, don't do it because it's a failure before it even starts. You can never do this. You're not confident enough. You're not smart enough. You're not one thing after another, right? That devil is a liar. It's a liar. It's illusion. It is meant for you. Are you going to listen to the call this time? Your heart is screaming, is screaming loud and clear. But your fear of failure is sounding louder. But your heart is actually leading you. You're feeling something in your heart because it is put there by the divine. They're actually calling you to do that, whatever this is. I cannot wait to hear from you in the comments below. Please tell me what this is so I can celebrate with you and believe with you that this thing is going to go and be successful because you're called to do something and you are called to step into that leadership you and that strong, confident, capable you. Are you going to answer the call? Because when you do, you step into the strength to be your most authentic you that really wants to do this. And when you do, the heart of your spread here tells you that this is going to take off very fast for such a time as this, guys, for such a time as this, you are called to do this now. It's your time. Have confidence, have courage, because it's going to take off very fast and lead you right to success. It's time. You've even got the page of wands here. It's time. It's time to step out. Even if you do little baby steps at a time, the page of wands is like baby steps. Your baby steps are leading you to victory. It's time for you to do whatever this is that you've been wanting to do. It's something inside you 
right now the energy is ripe and supportive for us to cr be creative and you can put it on social media you can start a YouTube channel whatever it is but your people are going to be attracted to you the right people your news your message your product whatever it is will get to the right people because you're being guided to do this meaning the universe is going to bring the people that you need to succeed you just need to take that first little step even if it's a baby step so that you can finally get the victory you're being led you're you're going to be led right to victory this is the victory card you're going to be celebrating you've got three new beginnings here three aces you're gonna love it it's gonna be able to make your most creative you shine it's putting you in this place of power that maybe you've never been in before you're meant to succeed maybe you've always wanted to succeed and have not succeeded well now's your time because this is so aligned with you is there anything else yeah 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 <laughs> Your intuition is guiding you, is screaming loud and clear. And right now, you are so connected, more than you have been all year, to your intuition. Listen to it. Because this is soul aligned for you. It is like a soulmate opportunity for you, because it comes from you. And you've got the victory. You've got the victory here. So take the victory over your battle in your head and just do it. Get out of your head. Get out of your head because you're blocking yourself. You're deciding your fate before you even start. Do Just get out, just knock that devil right off your shoulder and make your dreams come true. They want to come true. Who am I reading for? Comment below and let me know, and I'll see you in the next reading.